place ours a wingless car. We may fear that we won't be happy. We want our lives to be like having a working system. When we trust that there is something taking action despite our fear or uncertainty, we are able to work step three. Even though we do not know how our lives will change as we work this step, we can learn to trust that our higher power brings us for us better than we could. The third step is our commitment to our own emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being. What we can in the second step is to live in a higher power can become a fuller relationship with a God of our understanding in step 3. The decision that we make by working this step and the relationship that results will revolutionize our existence. This decision is easier to make than to live by. We can easily lapse into old behavior. It takes determination, time, and courage to change. Because we're not perfect, we simply continue to reaffirm our decision on a regular basis and then do the very best we can to live by it. Complete and unconditional surrender of our will and our life is an ideal we strive to fulfill. Although we don't become perfect, we do make a profound change by working this step. We are making a serious effort to live differently than we have in the past. From now on, we are going to be practicing this decision, and the way we relate to the world around us can change radically as a result. In working step 3, we begin to learn how to stop struggling. We learn to let go and trust the good of our understanding. If we take time to think and seek direction before acting, we no longer have to run on our own self-centered way. Turning our will and our life over to the care of our shoes. Higher power provides a solution to the problems created by a life based in self-will, resentment, and control. The spiritual principles we are practicing will guide us, not just in the third step but throughout our recovery. The first three steps provide us with the solid spiritual foundation we will need to work the rest of the steps. We keep our initial surrender alive by actively practicing the faith and willingness required to work the third step. In other words, we will witness our powerlessness and inability to manage our own lives. We come to believe now we need to surrender to the care of the God of our understanding. We may find the willingness to work the third step by remembering where we came from and believing that where we are going is certain to be quite different. Though we don't know what this difference will entail, we know that it is sure to be better than what we had in the past. We rely on our faith and belief that this decision is one of the best decisions.
of our main Turning our wheel and our steps over to the car of the foot of our understanding is a tremendous decision. We may very well wonder exactly how we are supposed to put this decision into practice. Because our individual beliefs about a power greater than ourselves vary. There is no uniform way to put our decision into action. However, we can find some ways we all can use to find a personal understanding of the third step. One is to continue our efforts to develop a personal relationship with a good of our understanding. Another is to give up our efforts at controlling everything around us. We relax our brain on the burdens we've been carrying and turn them over to the care of a higher power. Yet another way we can practice our third step decision is to continue with our recovery by working the remainder of the steps. Our sponsor will guide us in applying the spiritual principle of recovery, showing us how to shift our focus away from our own self-interest and toward a more spiritually centered life. Ready to make this decision, we talk with our sponsor, go to staff meetings, and take the opportunity to share about it with other non-members. We gather as much knowledge, insight, and experience as we can from these sources, and then we make our own decision. No one can do it for us. We must consciously decide to do this for ourselves. Of course, this is not a decision we make solely with our intellect. In truth, this is a choice we make with our heart. A decision based much more in feeling and desire. Then in deliberate reasoning. The look has from mind to heart seems a difficult one. Normally working this step with our sponsor seems to help us make this decision a part of who we are. The search for a good of our own understanding is one of the most important efforts we will undertake in our recovery. We have complete personal choice and freedom in how we understand our higher power. We can each find a higher power that does for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Because we are powerless over our ethnic science, we need a power greater than ourselves to become us. Just as our freedom to have a good of our own understanding is not limited, so is our freedom to communicate with our higher power in whatever voice works for us. Anytime we communicate with our higher power, whether it's simply with our sex or a love at the club of a meeting, we are praying. Most of us as our higher power for direction on a daily basis. Our relationship with our higher power grows stronger as we practice this. In our experience, talking to a power greater than ourselves works. When we are having 
Recover involves more than simple abstinence progress. The solution to our problem is a profound change in our thinking and our behavior. We need to change how we perceive the world and alter our role in it. We need to change our attitude. Whether our motivation is a desire to move away from our addiction or to move toward recovery doesn't really matter. The fourth step is a turning point in our journey of recovery. It is a time for the personal reflection. The conclusion that we attempt was to mask with self-deception and that is about to diminish. We are embarking on a search for insight into ourselves, our feelings, our fears, our resentments, and the patterns of the behavior that make up our lives. We may be very present at the prospect of examining ourselves so thoroughly. We don't know ourselves very well, and we may not be sure we want to. Our fear of the unknown may seem overwhelming at this point, but if we recall our faith and trust in our higher power, our faith can be overcome. We believe that part of the thing for us is to work the steps. We trust that the final outcome of working the first step may be the continuing feeling of our spirits. And we go on. The principle of recovery that we have already begun to practice are vital to working the fourth step. The honest acceptance of our addiction brought with us from step one will help us to be honest about other aspects of our addiction. We develop a level of trust and faith in a power greater than ourselves. And that glimmer of hope we've been feeling is growing with each day clean. We take the way to recovery with our willingness. And we find the courage necessary to work the first steps to living this principle. Honesty is an essential part of this step. Our years of living a life not bad. If we sit down and become very tough with ourselves, we will find it easier to get in touch with the truth. What we currently know to be true, we put on paper, holding nothing back. Telling the truth is a prayer, but with our faith and trust in the good of our understanding, we find the courage we need to be searching and fearless. With our courage, we are able to put on paper those things we thought we'd never tell. Shichio. What is meant by a searching and fearless moral inventory? We take stock of our assets and liabilities. We try to get at the bottom of who we are to expose the lies we have told ourselves about ourselves. For years, we became whoever we needed to be. 